Good morning, Mordale. With a brand new series of Sex Education Upon Us, we thought you'd like to learn some facts you might not have known about the people behind some of your favourite characters. So let's start, of course, with Otis Milburn. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the show's lead is played by Asa Butterfield, who is no stranger to the small or big screen. He's been acting since he was nine years old and gained worldwide fame at 11 for his role in The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. In the show, Otis and Jean, played by the incredible Gillian Anderson, have an interesting dynamic. And Asa says his real-life relationship with his mum isn't so different. I've noticed you're pretending to masturbate, and I was wondering if you wanted to talk about it. This may have something to do with the fact that she just so happens to be a psychologist and therapist also. Outside of acting, Asa says he leads a pretty boring life with his cats Lyra and Atlas, although he says he does make a mean beans on toast. Fans, of course, will know Gillian Anderson from before sex education from shows like The Fall, Hannibal, and the absolutely iconic role of Dana Scully in The X-Files. Mulder, are you suggesting that the military is flying UFOs? She admits when she first got the script for sex education, she threw it in the bin before her partner, the Crown writer Peter Morgan, convinced her to take another look at it. They'll be teaming up next year when she takes on the role of Margaret Thatcher in the Royal Series. S E. X. Didn't you wank off a courgette? <laughs> and Gillian isn't so different from her character, Jean. She's also written a book about women's empowerment and regularly shares penis and vagina of the day updates on Instagram. Seriously. <laughs> Shooty Gatois plays Eric in Sex Education, but before becoming Otis's more than lovable best friend in the series, he was on the stage. He even played Demetrius in A Midsummer Night's Dream at Shakespeare's Globe Theatre. I think it'll be nice. Eric has amazing style in the series, and Shooty says he loves seeing what he'll get to wear each day. Love the kimono. Ooh, love the jumper. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> One of his favourite outfits was the iconic prom outfit, a made-to-measure suit cut from traditional kente Ghanaian cloth. Two suits are made for the scene, and you he ready? says he struggled to choose which to wear. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This season, we get to take a deeper look at Ola's character. Ola's played by Patricia Allison, and like many of her sex ed castmates, this is one of her first screen roles, although last year she was in the TV adaptation of Les Miserables. In season two, Ola catches her dad, played by Mikhail Pershbrandt, with Hello. Jean. Allison admits she didn't even have to act horrified in the scene because she was so genuinely embarrassed. I'm sorry. Another cast member who was a theatre buff before jumping to the screen is Connor Swindells, who plays Adam Groff. He landed his first lead role completely by accident after making a bet with his friend to audition on a whim. And that's my dick. He initially wanted to be a professional boxer before an injury made him step back and rethink. Although their relationship was doomed in the series, in real life, Connor is dating co-star Amy Lou Wood, who plays his ex-girlfriend, also called Amy. Where's the spunk, Adam? Sex Education is Amy's screen debut, although she did study acting at RADA. And though her character is a fan of ham sandwiches, Amy herself is a vegan. My ham. It's impossible now to picture her as anyone other than Amy, but she actually originally auditioned for the role of Lily. The cast member who did end up landing that role is Tanya Reynolds. Before Sex Ed, you might have seen her in shows like Outlander, Relic, and the Dawn French comedy Delicious. She was also in a Diet Coke ad last year. Exotic mango from your hands, so just more exotic, more mango. You're a bird of paradise. Oh, it's horrible. No. Nope. She's also a keen photographer, and her Instagram is full of her work. Like Amy Lou Wood, Maeve Wiley was Emma Mackey's first professional acting job. She says she didn't even have headshots before auditioning. You know, you are so dark. What? Your humor is dark. I like dark humor. OK, bye. Bye. Emma grew up in the Loire Valley in rural France and is fluent in French. She moved over to the UK only at the age of 18 to go to university in Leeds. She says if she wasn't playing Maeve, she'd like to play Eric. Her Mordale on-screen boyfriend is head boy and heartthrob Jackson Marchetti, played by Kedar William Sterling. And girl, you're breaking my heart, but what can I do, baby? Kedar 
Carr was familiar with the acting world before joining the Sex Education cast, you might have seen him in the CBBC series Wolf Blood. Does he play football? Is that all you ever think about? Basically, yeah. Like Asa, Kedar loves his pets. He's got five. Three dogs, Jaffa, Angel and Zulu, and two cats, Marmalade and Toast. So there you have it, some facts you might not have known about the cast of Sex Education. Know any more? Why not drop them in the comments below? How could you ever be broken?